Hi everyone, how are you doing? If you saw the thumbnail, you probably wonder what on earth I was thinking to draw something like this. Well, why would I not? It's a gift for my husband. We have a photo frame in the hallway with three little hooks to hang up our keys when we come in. It still contains the default picture with three feathers and over time it faded a little bit because of the sun. It was about time to do something about that. I wanted to make an illustration that represents us both in some way. My husband likes to fish, so I made this composite in Photoshop. He actually caught the fish himself and sent me the photo on my phone. He also wears that hat all the time and the camera is mine. It's the one that I have in my hand on my profile picture here on YouTube. The legs I drew myself on a piece of printer paper, so I had an idea of what I wanted to draw. The head has a bit of a woven texture, just as the couch in my previous Rhino video, so I drew the lines in 90 degrees opposite directions of each other. I was a bit hesitant by how I wanted to render the head. I don't have much experience with drawing fish. At first I thought it was going to be very ugly, but I kept on working on it and in the end it will look fine. Especially when you look at it from a certain distance, and my husband was happily surprised. And that's what counts. If he likes it, I like it too. Although the camera is not a digital one, I still like it. I got the camera from someone who was very dear to me. I haven't photographed this film in a very long time, but it is still something I want to get back to in the future. Back in school I was part of the furniture in the darkroom. I spent so much time developing photos, I almost lived there. Later I did a lot with lomography. For those who don't know what lomography is, I don't want to go into too much detail with that in this video, but it is a very fun community for analog photography with an artistic touch. Scales were quite tricky to draw because of the repeating pattern. It's easy to get lost in the details and difficult to remain consequent in the texture. But it is also fun and relaxing to do. The day when my husband caught his fish, he caught also a different kind of carp. For this drawing I chose this one with all the scales. I think this is the common carp. But he caught also one with very few, but very large scales. I don't know how that species is called in English, but I want to draw that one in a different illustration later on.
legs were the most fun thing to do. At first I wanted to draw two different socks, because that's what I do. I always wear two different socks, but in the end I didn't, because you can barely see the second sock and I thought it would look a bit messy. I rendered the legs and the shoes of the carp in the same way I did the rhino guy on the couch in my previous video. I had no photo reference of the legs and the shoes, so I had to make it up myself. For the strap of the camera around the fish's neck, I didn't want to color it in with similar lines as for the fish itself. For my own DSLR, I have a custom colorful strap with interesting patterns. So I chose one of those patterns and fill it in with that to distinguish the strap from the body of the fish. And for the finishing touch, I added some grass so the fish isn't floating in space. What do you think about the end result? Or do you have a name for this guy? Share your ideas in the comments below. Have a nice day, until next time.